I like to show you the behind the scenes of my editing process from photos like that to this. I mainly use two editing apps, Airbrush as well as Pixar. First thing I always like to do with my photos is crop it so I'm in the middle or anywhere where I feel the angle is best and then color correct using filters, highlights, shadows, and brightness. So you can see here, I'm just going through all the different filters that I think might work best for this character. So this is Lucy from Cyberpunk. So she usually goes with a brighter blue color kind of scheme. And so that is essentially what I'm going for. I wanted to make this video so you all can understand that what you see on social media isn't always what is real or what you might see in real life. I don't make significant changes to my image, but I do make some, so the original photo is different from what it will be at the end. And maybe by watching this video, you'll be able to learn some editing tools for yourself to amplify and enhance your photos. So this part, I am actually using an acne, um, an acne tool, and this will just essentially help me remove any pieces that I don't want to be seen, such as if safety pins were showing, or if I have a particularly bad acne that day. I feel like sometimes social media can be so toxic. We get this imposter syndrome that are we that good? Are we compare ourselves to others? We doubt our own image. When in fact, everything you see on social media is most likely not what it actually is. So the next time you go on social media and you see a photo that you love, don't compare yourself to it because most likely that image has also gone through the same steps that I'm going through right now through lightning and highlights and filters and small little detail uh, edits. So this photo is actually almost done. I'm just gonna go through some final touches, such as making a little bit bluer, as well as some color editing. So Lucy does have that blue and kind of green in her hair, but the photo doesn't showcase it that well. So I'm just amplifying those colors. It's really cool that Airbrush is able to do this technique. That is it for this photo. I do not go into showing you PixArt here, but if you guys are interested in me showing you the techniques through PixArt, I'm happy to share. Airbrush is free other than some little parts that you do have to pay a fee for.